Green feminism is another way of saying eco-feminism, which is something that activists and theorists originated and practiced pretty much from the 1970s on around the world. For me, ecofeminism is removing the veils that hide the manipulations of our minds, the planet, our bodies, through all kinds of patriarchal constructions, whether they be the constructions of patriarchal science that says nature is dead, uh, women don't have minds, or the constructions of the economy that says women don't work, when they provide most of the work on the planet and the most important work without which everything else will collapse. You can't have feminism and not imagine it being part of a living earth. For me, ecofeminism is something that you live, right? Something that you learn, like relations that you learn when you're working with the earth. After Hurricane Katrina, the phrase environmental justice was no longer anathema and you know, people understand what environmental injustice is, the vulnerability of certain segments of populations to hazards that are not natural but created by us. Vulnerability as a result of social um, circumstances, race, class, gender. Food and food politics and environmentalism and veganism is like so racialized, right? So communities of color, like low-income communities of color and migrant communities of color are kind of seen in this light like oh they're not vegan you know they're not healthy they don't eat healthy like without really understanding like the systems and the systemic violence that really kind of like impacts people's health and like people's ability to get healthy food get organic food to me like abuelita knowledge right using that framework is to really kind of reclaiming traditional foods to me ecofeminism being a brown ecofeminist is somebody that looks at feminist issues but also constantly focusing on the bigger picture, right? Nature, like environment, how are we treating animals? How are we treating nature? How are we treating plants? How are we communicating? How are we creating connections? What should be acknowledged as the feminist contribution to environmental thinking, that humans are not apart from nature, are not separate from nature. Humans are just beings among many living beings that constitute the planet.